Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we are going to do the unboxing and overview of this APC 1KVA UPS. The model number is BR1000G and uh, as you can see this is the new model. I actually have a earlier model of this UPS. It didn't have this digital display. I'll show you that a bit later and this is for my dad. He was actually using a, uh, a 500 uh, VA UPS and he wants and after about five years it went bad and now he wants a bigger ups so this is the one and as you can say it's a one kva that means it can support up to 600 watts and it says that it can support up to 139 minutes of run i'm a little bit skeptical of that because uh yes you can add an additional battery to this model but with a single uh, what do you say battery that this unit poses i would say you can get a average backup for power about 25 to 30 minutes uh, that's what was my experience, but if uh, it, uh, I'll test it for a week and if it changes, I'll let you guys know. I'll add it in the show notes and also it says as you can see it see here uh, it's green and what they mean is that uh, this is the master switch and if power is not supplied to this, for example, let's say you have shut down your computer, the other peripherals can also be shut down automatically. So that's there and I'll just take out this and it's a pretty heavy box it says it's 12 kilograms and this is the ups itself and we also got this uh, usb cable which we can attach at the back and we have a software by which we can monitor and some manuals and also a cd disk for that software uh, so let's look at this let me take out this one and it's glossy plastic and on this end, it gives us the testing results from APC. They test every unit. And again, on the back, as you can see, uh, we have, you can attach your Ethernet cable here for spike protection. And this is the port for adding an additional unit like this. It's just a battery pack. And I think so it increases the battery capacity backup by almost twice the time. And you can get up to around 80 to 90 minutes of backup. And these are the four outlets. Uh, these four outlets uh, will have the UPS backup. That means when the power goes down, it will continue to power on. These and th these two are the search outputs. And I would say you can attach your printers on this. We also have a reset sw uh, switch over here. And uh, here the USB cable that they gave connects here and it connects to your computer. It also has a fan over here. And again, uh, quite a few vents over here. So let me just switch it on for the first time and let's check it out and I'm going to switch it on for the first time now and uh, this is the power switch and as you can see it is giving us the input voltage that's uh, 246 volts as of now and we also have this button via which it shows us uh, different things for example it's showing us the backup that it can provide now is 208 a minute but again nothing is attached to this unit uh, so if you attach your computers etc obviously it will go down and you can also cycle it using this one and as you can see right now there is no load zero watts that's what it's showing and we can also uh, silent the beeps this is a nice uh, thing that they have provided because in the earlier model uh, you could do that but you have to use the software to do that so this is the APC backup UPS Pro uh, now let me show you the old version that I have that I'm using and this is the older model that I'm using it's known as the backup UPS RS1000 uh, and as you can see it does not have any LED notification or anything like that it's very simple it has just four LEDs that's online on battery overload or it, this one glows it says that you have to replace the battery and this is the additional battery pack that you can connect and using this we can actually uh, uh, what do you say more than double the backup uh, time provided by the UPS. Again, I've been using this uh, model now for around four or five years and it's performing flawlessly. So I hope the new model also performs great. Again, the, I would say the only big difference between this unit and the older model is this LCD display that we are getting. Uh, I purchased this unit in India for uh, 7,900 rupees. Again, this is the one KVA model. We also get it in another capacity that's 1.5 KVA. So that's it for now for this quick unboxing of this APC UPS. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.